All right, hey, Shalom. Um, first and foremost, I want to say all praise is going and honor going to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. That's the Most High in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Uh, Bahashim Rakakwadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, uh, double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. I also want to say Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to you sincere brothers out there that push this word with truth and with faith. Um, I am Thabwa Amath of Great Millstone Northwest. Uh, back here with um, another installment to the segments that I've been doing, which is entitled, Do You Believe in the Lord? Okay, this one is going to be uh, based on um, the fear and the terror of the Lord. All right. Now, the previous one that I did, this is part two, by the way. The previous one I did was part one, which was based on um, just belief. If you believe in the Lord, well, there are scriptures that backed it up, that if you believed in the Lord, you, you would fully uh, trust in him. You would fully lean on him. Okay. Now, this one I want to, uh, in this segment of Do You Believe in the Lord, I want to show how it's a it's a fearful and terrible thing to fall into the hands of the most high cuz man hey the most high can completely jack he can completely jack you up man you know he doesn't have to kill you off he can he can make it to where your life is uh uh overly stressed all right where you can't you know what I'm saying he'll make it where you can't catch a break you got to realize that even right now even though yeah, okay yeah we got to slave away we still catch you know he'll throw us a bone every now and then he could take it where he's just putting you in the worst of the worst case scenario, you know, and um, me personally, I don't think that that's a, a position anyone wants to be in. So um, without further ado, let me go ahead and grab uh, the first scripture, which is going to be second Corinthians, uh, the fifth chapter, you know, second uh, Corinthians five. Uh, where do I want to start? Um, let's see. Um, let me see. All right, it says, um, I'm going to start right here, verse 11, and we get straight to the point. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. All right. So um, the point is that we know the terror of the Lord. And because we know the terror of the Lord, and we actually believe in the most high power, Yahweh. We actually believe that Yahweh Shai is going to be uh, sitting at that judgment seat uh, saying who can who gets the pass and who doesn't. All right. Because we actually believe in that. We do persuade men. We go out there on the highways and the byways. We we show forth our, our our works through our actions. You know, we pay it forward because we believe that the Most High has that power to jack us up. Yahweh Shai has the power to make that call on if the Most High jacks us up. You see what I'm saying? That's why we go out there and we persuade men. That's why we're moved to be able to uh uh to to work in such the manner that we do. All right. Another scripture that backs this up is found in uh, Psalms 119. So let's jump to that real quick. Psalms 119. Psalms 119 is a beautiful chapter, by the way. It's, it's like the whole chapter is good. Um, but I think it's around like 120. 120. Hmm. Verse 119 is good. It says, Thou puttest all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love thy testimonies. Hey, all the wicked is going to get put in the earth, man. You're all, you're all going to uh, uh, perish, all right? And uh, in a later segment, I believe part three, or I'm sorry, part four is going to be uh, the promises of destruction. So that scripture is going to go uh, beautifully with that. But anyway, um, Psalms 119 uh, verse 120 says, My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, 
and I am afraid of thy judgments, man. And that's 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 you know you can tell that that's a sincere uh, statement, man. Okay, uh, especially if you really do believe in the Lord, you're gonna feel that. Like you know when you go off, when you do something that that that's off, or or that you knew that you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you was it wasn't supposed to go down like that. You wasn't supposed to let it go down like that. You get scared, man. All right, when you see these guys that was that was uh, prominent, knew a whole bunch of scriptures, you know, was able to break down this and that, and you know, they they had that that look of a sincere brother, and then they 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 fall that they fall uh, to their shame. When you see that happen, man, hey, that's that's a fearful thing. You know, you get scared, man. It says, my flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. Because guess what? Hey, the Most High knows what your fears is, man. He knows exactly what it is that scares you the most, and he could put that on you. All right? Could you imagine? Could you imagine whatever it is, whatever is like, yo, just you, for whatever reason, is just something that uh, makes you extremely uncomfortable, you know? Uh, uh, and he could put you in that situation, man. All right? It says, uh, and I am afraid of thy judgments. Hey, I don't want to be judged according to my sins, man. That's why it's, uh, I forget who wrote it. Let me try to do a quick Google search. Or not a Google search, but this app. I'm going to search off this app. Um, how's it go? Uh, judge me not in thy anger. Judge me not in thy anger. Let's see if, let's see if, uh, shit, typos. Let's see if um if this is able to pull it up. Cause uh damn, the whole thing started stopped. The thing about it is we don't want to get judged according to the anger of the most high, according to our iniquities. We wanna we want that mercy, man. We're seeking for that mercy. Those that believe in the Lord, those that believe in y'all watching Mount Shai, we're seeking for that mercy. We don't want to get judged uh in the judgment uh in his wrath and in his anger. Let's try this again. In thy. No. See, that shit. That's, that shit did that. Thy. Motherfucker. Anger. There we go. Judge me not in thy anger. Um, shit, I guess that's not it. Judge me not according I don't know how to spell that. Let me see. Let's see if this just pulls it up. Um um shit. Hey, but hey, let me, anyway, the point is that I don't want to get caught up in the um in the judgment of the most high uh um I don't want to get caught up in the anger and in the wrath of the most high, all right? I want to be I want to be uh acquitted that uh that mercy So like, yeah, I don't know where that scripture is. Um, if a brother is watching this and they know where it's at, well, sure, I'll put it in the comment board. But um, uh, the scripture, roughly paraphrasing, is uh, they're saying that they don't want to be, they don't want to receive the 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 um, uh, the reward for their iniquity. They want to get uh, rewarded for the righteousness, basically. Anyway, moving on. Um, so like, yeah, for that. Moving on though. Let's get to uh, Jeremiah 17 and 17. Um, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 17. It says, um, Be not a terror unto me, thou art my hope in the day of evil. Okay? Now, um, again, segment one, part one was speaking about uh, belief. All right? And how you have to put your trust into the Heavenly Father. If you really believe in Him, uh, then you will, you would you would trust in Him. All right. So it's the same thing. Uh, judge 
be not a terror unto me. Thou art my hope in the day of evil. So when we're hitting bad times, we lean on Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. We're not um, uh, uh, seeking to 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 get further into uh, that bad situation. You know, we're we're seeking the Heavenly Father to shine that light to show us the path out. We're not trying to wander aimlessly further into the darkness. Okay, so that's just straight to the point. Um, let's get. Uh, let me see. What do I want to get? Um, oh, let's go to Hebrews, the 10th chapter, man. Okay. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Um, verse 24, okay. Verse verse 23 it says let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promised and i'm telling you that the next two segments that i'm gonna be doing part two and part three is both based on the promises of the heavenly father all right and it says that he is faithful that promised the most high is faithful if his word went forth it's not going to come back void man meaning that whatever he declared to happen will happen and it's going to happen that's why there's two separate segments or two separate parts that i'm going to be doing one based on the the, the promises for the elect and one based on the promises of destroying this world all right promises of destruction for the wicked okay verse 24 and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is now the manner of some is to to just try to uh, be a force that divides and divides and divides you know and to work iniquity all right but that's not those that truly have that faith in the heavenly father that believe that the heavenly father is going to give them uh he's going to pay back uh, uh whatever's due right he's going to allow that karma to come back and smack twice as hard right those that believe in that, they're, they're not they're not on that where they're um, uh, forsaking the assembling. All right. The assembling of, of righteous works and the assembling of, of the body of Yahweh, actually the body of Yahweh Shai. All right. In full faith in Yahweh Shai in full faith in the heavenly father. Yahweh. OK, it says uh, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much more as you see the day approaching. And guess what? We can see that day approaching, man. Us that, that believe in, in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and that is uh, uh, putting forth our hand to that plow, we see that day approaching, man. That's that's most of the reason why we're in fear. We, we can see that judgment day is coming and we want to get judged with righteousness, man. We don't want to get judged uh, uh, according to our iniquities, all right? It says, for if we sin willfully, after that, we have received the knowledge of truth. There remain no more uh, sacrifice for sins. All right. And that's that's straight to the point, man. It means exactly as it says, man. If you're just out there selling willy, willy nilly, knowing that it's wrong, but you're just going to continue to do it. Well, guess what? There's no there's not going to be a covering for you. All right. There's no excuse. It says, but a certain fearful uh, looking, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment. And fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. All right. So that 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 judgment, man, that those missiles is not nothing you want to play with, man. All right. The judgment of the most High destroying this world with, with with fire is not something you want to play with. The, the judgment of getting torn apart by beast or, or being subject to that famine, you know. Or letting Esau just completely have his way with you. That's not that's not some <laughs> that's not some judgments that you want to fall into. It says, um It says, uh uh but uh, he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be uh uh thought worthy who have trodden under the foot the son of the most high. So how much how much more is the punishment supposed to be? How much more severe is that punishment going to be for those that have um 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 trodden under the foot Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And how do you tr trodden Yahweh Shai under foot by by uh, uh forsaking what he has put forth for us. All right? He has given us a way for uh grace and mercy 
And and some some people are trying to take advantage of that, man. All right. It says and have uh, counted the blood of the covenant uh, wherewith he was sacrificed an unholy thing and have done despite unto the spirit of grace. It's because there's guys out there that, that seek to try to destroy this truth, man. There's guys out there that, that mock this truth, you know. There's guys out there that, that is severely upset and angry with the apostles and the elders just because they're out there uh, teaching this word. All right. There's people out there that, that severely hate brothers in the different camps, you know, that wish to do harm to them all due to the fact that they're out there pushing the word of y'all about y'all shy. All right. And because that spirit's not on them. Really what it is, is they don't fear the heavenly father, man. They're looking at us as if we're men doing our own business, you know, not as if we're men doing the will in the business of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, no, that's pretty much the point on that one. Let's get real quick before we, we bounce out. I want to get Job 13 and 11. And then I want to get uh, Psalms, the ninth chapter. So let's go to Job first. Job chapter 13, verse 11 says, it says, shall not his excellency make you afraid and his dread fall upon you. OK. Um, mm -mm -mm. It says. Uh, OK, let's read up a little bit. It says this is chapter 13, verse seven. It says, will you speak wickedly of the most high and talk deceitfully for him? And some guys do that, man. You know, some guys do it just like Yahweh Shai said, man. He said when you um, he said he's going to come back and be like you, you, you fed me when I was hungry and you clothed me, you know, and you came and, and visited me when I was sick. And they're going to ask, Lord, when did I do any of that? You know, and he's going to say when when you did that for that brother that's next to you, you did it onto me. All right. So it's the same uh, scenario. And then on the, on the flip side, he's, he's pointed to another and was like you. Uh, uh, you didn't, you know what I'm saying? He didn't literally point, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, according to the parable, he's going to be like, hey, uh, uh, you get get from me because I don't know you. You didn't feed me. You didn't you don't, you don't, didn't do any of this. And they're going to be like, well, when did we not do that? Well, when you didn't do it for the brother, right? So it's the same thing. Will you speak wickedly of the Most High and talk deceitfully for him? How are you going to be able to do that when you speak wickedly of, of uh, his prophets, man? All right? The Most High is a jealous power. In 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 multifaceted ways, man. He's he's jealous for, um, uh, he's jealous on, on worship for sure. But he's also jealous. He doesn't like people, uh, uh, messing with the apple of his eye, man. And the elect of the nation of Israel is definitely the apple of the eye of the heavenly Father. All right, they're important to Yahweh Shai, and they're important unto the heavenly Father. Okay, it says, uh, will ye accept his person? Will ye contend for the Most High? Is it good that he should uh, search you out or that one man mocketh another? Do you so mock him? Right. So you mocking the, the, the apostles and the elders and the, the, the sincere brothers. All right. That's are you a hey, will you just openly mock the heavenly father as well? Because basically that's what you're doing. You're going against the order and the thing uh, of what how the most High set things up. All right. It says um, he will surely reprove you. If you do uh, secretly accept persons, shall not his excellency make you afraid and his dread fall upon you? So should should you not be fearful of the heavenly father, man? You got to remember the, the heavenly father turned a king into a, a beast. All right. Had him growing feathers out of his skin and living butt naked among uh, wild animals. All right. This was this was a, a person that was a king that sat on the throne that ran a, 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 a empire, man. All right. And he, the Heavenly Father straight up bugged him out for, I think, for seven years. Okay? So, the, hey, the, the fear of the Heavenly Father is is dreadful, man. The terror of the Lord is, is a sincere thing. Okay? It says, um, uh, well, that's, that's pretty much the point of what I wanted to get right there. Okay? So, um, without further ado, I'm going to get Psalms chapter, uh, the ninth chapter. Not the whole chapter, but uh, the the verse in there, Psalms chapter nine, and then I'm gonna close out. Um, well, the point is in twenty. Let me see if I want to read up. No. Uh, well, yeah, I do want to read up. 
uh, this is Psalm chapter 9, starting at verse 16. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hand. All right. Uh, Hag Hag Hagaion. Uh, I don't know what Hagaion means, but it says, um, it says the wicked is snared by the work of his own hand. And the Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth, man. All right. That's why he that great name he built up in Egypt. OK, that great name he's going to build up by destroying America. All right. So on and so forth. Delivering the Israelites, the great name he got from delivering the Israelites. OK, he's known by the judgment which he uh, which he executed, man. It says the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations uh, that forget the heavenly father for the needy shall not always be forgotten the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever and i went into the poor uh i did a video about the poor i believe it's called rise of the poor uh, i did that not too long ago all right uh last week or maybe even a couple days ago some of these days get jumbled uh together but um i did i did that video uh, not too long ago man speaking about the poor and how the poor um a lot of times in the scriptures when they speak about the poor it's really speaking about the Israelites, okay? It's speaking about the elect. It's speaking about the righteous, okay? Um, it says, uh, uh, The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, and let no man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight, okay? So they, they, that judgment's coming. Just be patient. It says, Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men, Okay? So hey, it's gonna it's gonna be get real uh it's gonna get real clear and evident here in here in a little bit, man, and, and not too not too far from now, all right, hey, but pretty much that's the point, hey, the terror of the Lord. Do you believe in the Lord? Part two, uh, the terror and the fear of the Lord. Okay, Lord willing, it was edifying, and Lord willing, the message received. Again, all praise going on to that uh, to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakwadash. Double honors onto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and faith. Till next time, shalom.